This is Pancho Villa, a Texas Longhorn steer. We've had cows here on this place uh, since 1962. Uh, when we purchased this farm, Dad purchased it when I was just a little fella. Uh, we measured him at 127 and 7 sixteenths inches long. He's been healthy, he, uh, no hoof problems, horn problems, or anything. The beautiful thing about uh, the Texas Longhorn is they have such a variation of coat patterns, uh, the color pattern is not the same, the horn uh, development is not the same in any two individuals. And Poncho, his horns curl and twist and go straight out and that's what it's so neat to see the differences and variations of the the horn mass and how they grow but the ones that go straight out like uh, ponchos make it so much uh, more impressive on total tip to tip length son-in-law, George Jones, he was down there fishing by the pond, and he had been petting the longhorn. You know, Poncho came up behind me, just, what you doing, what you doing? I guess a horse fly got on him or something, and all of a sudden, he turned that head, and I, I went airborne into the pond. This one's had so many people over the years stop by to see him with uh, feeding him carrots and apples and uh, any kind of treats that he's just turned into a wonderful big pet. So wonderful because the little, little ones can go pet it and rub it and all this, but they love the old poncho and I think he loves him too because he'll stand so still and let him rub his neck and his head and his horns. And, uh, it's a hoot. Uh. Pancho is a really interesting personality. He's mellowed a lot as he's gotten older. Um, back when he was younger and we first got him, uh, he really had some small horns back then, but he was really cute and he would get frisky and run around the pasture uh, bucking and snorting and charging at you. The Longhorn is such a protective uh, breed. It, it, they're great uh, parents. I mean, the, the cows are just exceptional protectors and, and great mamas. <laughs> One more piece. One more piece. <laughs> Go You'll have to wait till. Paul Paul is proud as a peacock of that cow. He, he loves it dearly. Um, it's probably one of the most excited times I've ever seen him in, since I've known him. At, at his age, in his middle 80s, uh, he, it, it kept his mind occupied, uh, really kept him some drive and focus. He likes to, to bring that positive influence to his family and to the community. 